captions are basically just labels that you can add to objects in your document. I've got a document here all about foxes and dogs, so I'm going to insert a picture from Clipart, and I'll find a picture of a fox. There's a picture of a fox, and I'll just insert it into the document, and then close down this side pane so we can see better what we're working with. So we've got our image there of a, of a fox. To add a label to this, to add a caption to this, we select the object by clicking on it, and then we do insert reference caption, and it brings up the caption dialog box. Okay, a few things to notice here. In the text frame at the top, we can see what our caption is going to look like. The figure is a label as determined by this drop down menu here. We can choose what kind of label we're going to use. Obviously, tables for a table, and obviously, figure is uh, the most appropriate for this. Um, if we don't like the word figure, we can create our own label and call it anything we want. Let's call it picture. And then we can use that from now on as part of our captions. The next thing we can look at is the position of the caption, whether or not it's above or below the text. I like mine below. And then notice we've got picture one. That one there is a field. It automatically updates. I can't change it here. It will automatically update in the document. But if I don't like the one, I can change that numbering system to perhaps A's and B's and C's or Roman numerals. It's just a question of making a choice there. So I've defined how I want my caption to look. All I need to do now is put in what the caption is, what the image is that we're going to have. So I'm just going to put in the word fox. So picture one is a fox. Click on OK. You can see what's happened there. We've got our image and we've got the caption here, picture one fox, which is underneath the image, but it's not really in the, in the ideal place. There are issues with captions and Word 2003, um, which I don't want to go into at the moment, but this is the right method to use. But there are things we can do to make that just a little bit more straightforward. So I'm going to delete that image, sorry, not the image, the uh, caption, and show you it in the same way, but this time with the image, I'm going to change the wrapping first. Let's make it tight. Okay, so there's our image. Do the same process. Insert, reference, caption. Choose what we want from our labels. And then type in um, what we want the, the caption to say. And we click on OK. And you can see what happens there. It then creates a little text frame for the caption to go in. That's a much more efficient way of doing things. It has implications to something we'll come on to in a later lesson to do with tables of figures, but this will do for the vast majority of situations. So insert your image, change the wrapping, and then apply your caption, and things should be fairly straightforward. You can always delete a caption just by selecting it and pressing the delete key. So we can add captions manually in the way which I described, or we can set up Word to automatically add captions for us. If we select Insert Reference Caption, and this time use the Auto Caption button, then we can select by putting ticks in or out of these boxes which objects Word will automatically add a caption to. So we can see there's bitmap images there, there's charts, there's Excel worksheets, PowerPoint presentations, other Word documents, tables. There's a whole system of things there that we can tick on and off. I'll leave them all like that. We can do the usual formatting here and click OK. Now, whenever we insert an object into the uh, document, the theory is that Word should add a caption for us. Let's try inserting a table. Just make it nice and simple. 
couple of columns, couple of rows, and OK. And yes, you can see there the caption has been inserted for us. Let's insert another table. And you see, now we've got table two. That caption is automatically updated. If we delete the first table and the captions associated with it, I don't want to go into too much about the whys and wherefores here because I know I'm coming on to fields in another lesson. But this number two here is actually a field. If we were to close this document and open it up again, Word would automatically update that to be table one. But we can force that by right clicking on it and doing update field. And you can see the computer now knows that that is the first table in the document. Let's just try inserting a picture. Oops, it's a nice big picture, but we can see it's automatically put figure one. Now, the word will distinguish between tables and figures and the different objects. So that's the first picture, and that's the first table. So that's captions. I find it best, this is my tip, is to not use automatic captions, but to do them manually. You still get this automatic update feature. Um, but because Word doesn't pick up all the different types of images, for example, because there's lots of different types of bitmaps and uh, TIFFs and GIFs and WMFs and a whole range of others, it doesn't necessarily pick them all up. So I like to add my captions manually, but that's my choice.